along party lines. Tonight, I talked with Republican Congressman Buddy Carter. He believes the 14 million Democrats who voted for Biden in the primary have now been disenfranchised. Savannah Mayor and Democratic Delegate Van Johnson, on the other hand, says he's throwing his support behind Vice President Kamala Harris. Two men, two very different takes on Sunday's election shakeup. Uh, he's been a transformational leader uh, in this country. Uh, certainly cities like Savannah has felt the impact of his historic administration. And um, you know we're grateful for our service. They pulled a, a coup here over the 14 million Americans and Democrats who, who voted for Joe Biden to be their nominee. And they should be held responsible for that. Johnson, a Democrat on the rise in Georgia, will be at the Democratic Convention next month. He says as of now, he, like many other Democrats, will be supporting Vice President Kamala Harris. Carter, a Republican who represents Georgia's first congressional district, believes it doesn't matter who the Democrats nominate. Carter says it's Trump's race to lose. I think those who have been telling us that behind the scenes he is sharp as a tack, that, that he is the one running the show, they've been telling us a lie. Now we know it's been a lie. And they've been covering for the last three and a half years for this man. Do you think everyone's going to get in line and fall behind Kamala Harris, or do you think there are going to be several people that throw their hat in the ring? I mean, I think that's the nature of conventions where you don't have a presumptive nominee. Um, it's the nature of convention. Uh, at the end of the day, we know what the goal is. The goal is to win. And so we'll, we'll all get in line. No matter what happens, it's a historic moment. The first incumbent to not seek re-election since President Lyndon Johnson 56 years ago. And while many Democrats have thrown their support behind Harris, just like Johnson, others have decided to hold their tongue. I can tell you lots of eyes will be on that Democratic National Convention that's coming up in less than a month. Greg, Shannon.